water. Uh, this is the group of cows that in the previous video it's getting dry here and uh, we've had some rain uh, about uh, it was right around the 4th of July we had uh, a couple of really nice good rains come through had about three good rains which in our part of the world it's <laughs> we've had about three inches here so uh, you know most places that's like a shower but yeah, it's cows are starting to get fat. They're getting rid of their their rough hair. This, this cow is still a little rough, but uh, finally got some good green grass on them, and and the calves are looking good. All the calves have been worked. We've been done branding for a while, uh, so these calves probably got a good 30 days on them since we branded them, if not a little longer. And as you can see, our grass is green. Uh, it's a little eaten down here, but that's because we got all this rain. They've just been hanging out in this pond. But uh, yeah, the cows are looking, cows are looking good, looking really good. We're really, really blessed to have had the rain that we've had. Uh, there's still a lot of places that haven't had much rain. So I'm running through, uh, just checking. We've had this whole group of cows shut on this this half and I came through uh, since we had rain I uh, had them all shut off and let the other side kind of grow up and I was opening gates right now Just uh, it's a Sunday so I'm getting getting my cow time in getting some stuff checked but I just thought I'd kind of bring you along and, and uh, show you Everyone's doing good. We're uh, better shape than we were in, so we're pretty happy with that. Uh, that's just an old tank that shot the wells no good. The casing collapsed in it, and so it no longer uh, not something we mess with. But uh, I got a water tank up here and some salt and mineral in the back. I'm just really just kind of going through puttering, checking some calves out. And thought I'd make a, a little update on these cows. I mean, some of them are just getting butterball fat. Some of them still got, still a little rough. Like this cow here, she's still starting to really lick herself. She'll turn around, she'll be fat before too long. But uh, <coughs> yeah, it's been, it's been really, really nice. Definitely pretty happy. We couldn't, honestly, couldn't be happier. It was getting pretty scary. Uh, you know, I know it, we did buy that big vertical mixer, but it'll. Uh, we're gonna utilize it this winter and and try to change up a little bit of our winter strategy and, and see if we can't uh, use it to save a little money. Uh, you know, a few things like that. It's, uh, but uh, at the price point that I, I paid for it, it's it's something that we're gonna, it's gonna stay around for the foreseeable future. And uh, we're just gonna kind of play around with it. And, you know, for I guess for times when it is dry and we have to supplement feed, then it'll pay for itself that way. And then maybe if we can utilize it in the winter a little better, and, uh, we're definitely gonna do that so it's uh you know I don't feel bad about, about buying it at all it's and the price point on that was so low that you break it down over all the cows that we're we're running together it's uh it's very very affordable uh even if we don't use it it's very affordable uh just as a backup so yeah I'm gonna check this water tank up here these are some wind breaks I put in uh, several oh, it's been almost 10 years now I've had them in here uh, yeah this water tanks got water in it but, so that's kind of kind of what's going on uh, just really out checking cows right now 
everything's great. Uh, our, our dry land farming's not working out too terribly well. We planted hay grazer uh, again, trying to, our, we just have such a weed problem. Uh, it's, we got to get it under control. Uh, I think we will grow something. So that's been going on. Uh, I, I didn't show it in the video, but I bought a sprayer for uh, spraying that stuff because I was having to hire it done and finally just went and got a, a nice sprayer to do it myself. And uh, other than that, it's um, haven't had a lot of a lot of hay work besides our own stuff. We bailed some straw, finished getting all that stuff hauled. I don't know if uh, usually we sell it. I don't know if we will this year or not. If we'll save it for this winter and use it in our rations or not. Um, currently had an incident with our swather, so we're trying to get that whole deal worked out whether we're going to be getting a new swather or not or uh, rebuilding that one so yeah things are going it rained that's uh that's the best thing we're not uh you know it will still uh still need some rain and but we're growing grass now uh but we could definitely use some more more rain and actually grow some good winter grass because we don't have uh you know, we got to get through the rest of the summer and then we'll need grass all the way through the winter until next spring. So, do need some more good rains and, and then, uh, but I think the way it is now, if we can continue to get some rains across here, especially now while it's still green and, and growing, and we can continue to get some rains uh, and then not have to green back up and it'll go on and continue to grow, I think we'll be in really good shape. So keep keep hoping but uh can't complain where we're at right now there's a lot of people in pretty bad shape uh, in a lot of places we just happen to be under the right cloud a couple days in a row and it really kind of worked out for us but anyways that's uh that's what's going on not a whole lot uh to talk about right now i uh, kind of get some stuff figured out and share on some videos and make some more videos but right now we're just kind of keeping keeping to ourselves so anyways I know it's been a while but I'll uh, once we kind of get our uh, some of our other stuff sorted out we'll start making videos again but thanks for watching